What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we in the clutch, baby. It's already, dog. <laughs> if you've seen the last video, you probably already know why. If you on so Twitch, bad, bro, man. you know, you should yeah. know. You should know what's up, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all have to join the yeah. live streams, bro. It's mm. always hilarious. But back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch today. You feel me? What we getting into, bro? Uh, we're gonna be checking out visiting the most crowded island on earth. I can't forget what I saw. So we're gonna be checking out uh what's this guy's name? I'm gonna give a uh, proper credit to his channel. We've he did the out. last one. Um uh, uh what was it? The where the, they were in the mine? Like the mine. Yeah, like you couldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, yeah. The oxygen levels was the low. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, nah. This guy be traveling to very exotic places. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all love sport. Let's get right into this one, man. Most Santa Cruz del Islote has an area of just 1% of a square kilometer in size, where 816 Damn. people squeeze their entire lives. The island is so full that a guy does his daily workout routine near a dog feces, and chaotic life here creates new adaptations. Nah, he's choosing Since to do that. Since we arrived on the island, we've been constantly encountering people no matter where we turn. People come out from every corner. It's impossible to be alone on these crowded streets. Each house here has dozens of people living together in tiny rooms. How many people oh. live in this room? About 10. This is an average room of an average house. Hold you on. You will be shocked Ten. when you see how other people... Go back. 10 where? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how. ...together in tiny rooms. How many people live in... There's no way. Where are you getting 10 people at? They ain't even... How? Like, you can't be doing five a bed, bro. Like... Unless they doing five a bed. <laughs> That's wild. Hell no, nah, bro. In this room. About 10. This is an average room of an average house. You will be shocked average. when you see how other people live. But these people have a much bigger problem than these houses, which makes life so extremely terrible here. Welcome to the most densely populated island on Earth. A two-hour wow. boat ride away from the mainland of Colombia, the island is just a little bigger than a football field in size and what? has a density of 68,000 people per square kilometer. Even in Hong Kong, known as one of the most densely populated cities in the world, this rate is 6,000. When the goop scoop was Even that? in Hong Kong, known as one of the most densely populated. She needs to be fanning some space, cause ain't no way in hell. <laughs> Jesus, bro. She, everybody on the island can smell that. <laughs> cities in the world. This rate is 6,749. There are only four streets, and the place is entirely constructed of concrete. They don't have cars or motorcycles here. We feel the some us. <laughs> That's dung, Ross. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you asked. <laughs> oh my! And that's what it looked like in my head. I was like, that looked like some. Fucking done, bro. Oh, man. Density, as soon as we step onto the island, the sounds of people, roasters, waves, and music all mix together. The homes here tell the story of the island. Let's get inside one now. Can we sit inside your house? Yes, you may. See, I don't have anything. Sorry, it's a little dark inside. We don't have electricity here. Whoa. You can see that they have some laundry work in the hallway, and they leave them to dry in this open area. Let's start with this room. Homeowner says 10 people share these three beds together. It's the third bed. This is my room. Right. How many people sleep on that Not bed? with the Paw Patrol. Three. Uh, what about this room? <laughs> She's not allowing us to enter this room as it's too unorganized. Kids used to sleep here. Wait, Since hey. it is too hot, we take the mat. Pause the damn. It must be a dead body or something in there because ain't no way in hell you didn't let us go through and see all this bull. <laughs> Man, you gonna say you can't come in here because it's too un what? If if what we seen it wasn't unorganized, I can only imagine what it was. Some gotta be a dead. Body. Something dead was in there, bro. It came. They, come on, bro. Their mama was in the house. <clears throat> right, the bones and everything. Got, never got to bury them. All they where was, they gonna bury them? <laughs> With these niggas in the ocean. They ain't got yeah. no space to bury them. Do it like the Vikings used to do. Light them up, mm. put them on the boat, push it off, and... Damn. Mattress is out of the room because there is no electricity. <laughs> 
Seven kids are living in this room alone. They're making use of every bit of space, even the walls. Because they don't own a wardrobe, their clothes, shoes are all over the place. The kitchen is far from being clean because of the water shortage. People use the water only for drinking. All other reasons have to be disregarded. Almost any time on the streets we see laundry hung up or just left lying around. Some barbers at work. Chairs spilling out of homes. Children constantly running up and down. 220 families live in houses illegally built. Here, permission is not obtained from any authority and no one is officially a landowner. Everybody builds their houses wherever they want. When they can't find any space, they build on top of existing buildings. The buildings are so intertwined that sometimes they have to walk through each other's homes to get to the other side. Wow. As we get to know Islanders more and more, we will wow. discover a very different reason why their future is going to get even worse. Population density defies all logic. We see dishes and leftovers everywhere. And this dog is trying to eat the crumbs left on the spoon. Some people are fishing, others selling food on street corners, and some working on construction. A few are trying their luck with a lottery machine brought to the island, dreaming of becoming rich. As this all happens, there's a birthday celebration, and the party sounds can be heard everywhere. People are striving for comfort in their little space. Is this her own house or is she on a rent? My own house. What is the average rent here? There are some who pay rent because there are people who are not from here. They pay 50 to $75. Usually the only utility they pay for is electricity. There is a crowded family here. They gave the second floor to their married children what? so that they can stay there. It seems they have a communal life here. For you to have a better understanding how small this island really is, I came to the furthest side of it and I will walk to the other side. And while doing that, I'll start a timer. Let's see how many minutes Bro, it how long y'all think? The same uh, amount of time it takes Roman to get in the damn ring. <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> All right. Three minutes, it's, 45. Someone said three. Someone said 10 minutes top. Someone said three minutes. All right. Let's see, man. It will take. We're trying to find our way among the maze-like narrow streets. Privacy is impossible here because with every step, we pass through someone's life. Kids dominate this island's population. Even a space of four or five steps turns into a vast playground in the imagination of these children. Island has one school, one church, one clinic, one hotel, one restaurant, and three markets. 200 years ago, none of these streets, this chaos, garbage, mosquitoes, and the people were here. According to a legend, some fishermen discovered this island and spent the night here when it was too late to return. Then they decided to settle here with their families after sleeping well without mosquitoes. It was later artificially enlarged by compressing coral rocks, seashells, and waste year after year. Year. It took less than two minutes. We met a 94 year old. I thought we was gonna lose time because of the little lefts and turn corners. He, bro, it said it took less than two minutes, bro, that's... to go from one side of the island to the. That's literally less than Roman Reigns' entrance <laughs> to walk across the. To clear an island. That, Damn. That's that's crazy, bro. Lady who witnessed everything here. Was she born on this island? She never left. Not even a single day. Fishermen first came from the Baru region. They started to expand the islet, and in a hundred years, the island came like this. There were no motors back then or anything like that. Only small canoes with paddles. If you remember it correctly, when I was born, there was only this house and a few more houses. The rest was nothing. We are blessed to be located on the world's second largest coral reef. Yamaha. It's amazing, amazing sea life. Waves that rise 20 to 30 meters in the open ocean are reduced to merely 25 to 30 centimeters when they reach our shores. Look, all that you see around the island up to five or six miles off the coast is surrounded by pure coral. We're wow. safe here. How many people live here? Two families live here. Each family consists of six members, 12 people in total. Where is the kitchen? The kitchen. The stove goes here. That's not a problem. We cook with propane gas. Dogs can't grow anymore once they hit a certain size because of not getting enough nutrition. Aww. Life here is Damn. really limited for every creature. Here, we meet the nurse who has helped almost everyone come into the world healthy. Wow! Many years of delivering babies. How many babies? Oh my goodness, I've lost count. I don't even remember. Not the Most of voice. the youth in this town pass through these hands that you see. Wow. I delivered almost everyone on this island, and now I'm delivering even their children's oh, wow. children. And that's that's kind of crazy. You <clears throat> delivered everyone that's on the island, and now you've 
you're delivering their children's children. That's well, that's crazy, insane. bro. Insane. Someone said that's the bloodline. Wow, the that's, true that's, bloodline. That's 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 truly amazing, bro. Shout out to her, bro. Doing yeah, that. For sure. That's amazing. And I've never had a baby die, little children wow. with vomiting, a high fever, or diarrhea come to me. I tell them what to do or which medicine to take. I'm like a doctor. Everyone knows me here. The lack of modern healthcare services on the island poses a risk in emergency situations. But as you will understand by the end of the video, their real problem is so much more vital. By the way, according to the locals, the average life expectancy on the island is 85 to 90 years. My sister died at the what what are we doing wrong then? Like, bro, huh? What are we doing wrong then? So much, a lot. But 80? our babies with our paid healthcare keep them. eighty <clears throat> to Facts. ninety is the average. Damn, and she bought ninety five, so. Damn. Huh. Huh. That's... You keep believing lies, bro. That <laughs> the immune system is built different, man. Maybe we need to go hit up another small island, bro. You know. Damn. <clears throat> Someone said the the goop juice actually good. <laughs> All right, man. The age of 103. You will say to go beyond these limits only after they lose their lives because there is no cemetery on this island where people can bury their loved ones as there you. is no land to dig. After the corpses are toured around the square with a ceremony, they are then taken to the mainland by a boat and buried there. What is the average age for girls to get married or have a child? Typically, girls are 16 years old when they have their first children. This also applies to their children when they get to that age. There is no family planning and the population keeps growing. Growing rapidly. Yeah, that's 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 that that's that old school way of living. Like back in the day, that's how it was. Yeah, that's how it was. So like just being fruitful and multiplying, because then yeah. sixteen is kind of yeah. But it seems like they have a a tight knit community. That's crazy. That is insane, bro. How many kids do people usually have here? from two to five. <laughs> Family Damn. life here is uniquely laid back. Most of the couples are together without any official marriage. <laughs> also, it's not- Hey, bro, that was- <laughs> I thought I was tripping, bro. Yeah, Wait, like, I was I like, nah, he ain't gonna was... do that, right? I thought I was tripping, bro. <laughs> that nigga said- <laughs> He winded that up from way back there, bro. <laughs> Somebody said, wait, replay that shit. Come on, oh, no. Wait a minute. I was going to do it. Bro, no, because this is a serious, like, documentary style. So you don't expect someone to just randomly tighten so, up. We know the Coke boy is taking over. We see a single Coke bottle. Facts. Family life here is uniquely laid back. Most of the couples are Look, together without any official marriages. Also, <laughs> it's not unusual for people to have kids with more than one partner, but he that's part of life here. Is she married? I have a husband, but I'm not married. Oh, oh really? Which means it's all free union. Free. Also, <laughs> she said I got a husband, but I'm not married. Not married, which means it's this... all free union, free for all. We all having a good time. Right, dog. What's... <laughs> they don't look like there's no jail there either. What is going on? This is a free fall, bro. It's a free for all. It's a Royal Rumble. What is? What in the Jada Pinkett? <laughs> <clears throat> that that is what that. That was a Jada. Oh, Jada this is Ross Island. Chill, relax. God damn. Cheats for all. Elimination change, <laughs> chamber. <laughs> Y'all are wild, bro. People don't box. care about their personal space and joke. Entanglement Island. Well, did he just grab? <laughs> Wait. You seen that? No, I missed it. What the fuck? I have a husband, but I'm not married. Oh, really? Which means it's all free. She belongs to Fourth Street. Also, people don't care about their personal space and joke around <laughs> all the time. One of the biggest problems of the island. That nigga got mad. He was like, oh. Dog. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what? what? Someone said, hey, yo, police, right. But what? There are this, none. This documentary turned really weird. I hadn't seen one cop. 
Oh my god! <laughs> it's trash. Some of these will be in the ocean. Some of these will be sent to the mainland. But you can feel the smell and the amount of mosquitoes wherever you go. Is it filming? Most of the waste is hidden in the ocean. Without thinking twice, people just throw their loads oh, of garbage no. into the water, which they see as a dumping ground. Oh, Plastics, no. glass, and metal pieces. But what you will see next will make you feel more disgusting. Unbelievably, even a toilet can be found at the oh. ocean floor. The crabs swimming in this pollution are some of the important food sources for the residents. And these broken cages were used to hunt these animals. There are some plastic bags in the ocean. People are fishing. These women oh. are washing their clothes. Life is chaotic here. Access to electricity and drinking water here varies depending on the weather conditions. Solar panels are here. This is the way they produce electricity for the island. Oh, wow. We have 380 solar panels and 180 batteries, which gives us energy for everything. If the weather is sunny, electricity is provided between 12 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is there something that she wants to change in this island? Mainly the electricity. Look, today we've been without electricity for four days. All the drinks are hot. You see tomatoes and peppers. Nah, that wasn't coke. That was nah, I ain't see no coke. Yeah, they haven't touched them yet. But when they do... Oh, they're on the boat. They searching. Yeah, they trying to find these niggas. Where's that island at? Oh, we'll we get you that electricity. That, we'll cut that life expectancy down to half real right. quick. <laughs> we'll get 80, all the electricity. 85, you, you say, huh? 85. We can knock that to a 35 in no time. Give me some of those years and I'll give you some lights. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Since there isn't enough power, these are not Whoa. very fresh. These power generators are working. Almost everything people need is provided in the three markets on this main street, including medicines. This is the trading center of the island. There's another shop here. You can buy some t-shirts and shorts. We have a lot of wind here. The salt carried by winds damages our devices. The real struggle begins with the obtaining of drinking water, as there is no tap water in here. As you see, they gather the rainwater with these pipes. Not even a single drop of water is wasted. Drinking water? We suffer a lot. There, below the health center, we have a community tank that we call the lung of the island. When it rains, the joy is so immense here that we go partying that day. Wow. Here, the drought scares us so much. It takes seven to eight months to get some rain here. Oh. We store that precious liquid and then we distribute it to all the families equally without skipping anyone. The Navy sees the problem we have here. They let the mayor's office use their ships so that they could bring us some water. This helps a lot. Now we have some water. All the tanks are full because it is rain. Also, the, the island doesn't him. have any sewage system. Even though rain means good news in terms of water supply, rainfalls are bringing life into the edge of a chaos. Since the enlarged areas of the island are not solid, hurricanes or a heavy rain makes houses and streets unusable. What does he not like about this island? Well, the only bad thing is the rainy season. When it rains, the tide rises. All these streets are flooded with seawater. More in September and October during those months. If these houses didn't have these raised floors, the rainwater would enter the rooms. Keep in mind that they are also without electricity during these seasons. Oh, we are at the yeah. heart of Santa Cruz del Islote. This is the only monument on the island, and it is called La voices. Patrona. Monument protects us from hurricanes. We are inside the small church of this settlement. It seems like it needs some repairing. Are you the priest? I am the leader. There are many young kids on this island. What will their future be like? After they finish primary school, they don't go on to further studies. Their parents don't have the means to send them to the mainland. So there are 240 students on this island and 12 teachers. Welcome to the only school on the island. This is a classroom for the grade one. Since there is no school in the neighboring islands, students from there also come here. And their school service is, of course, a boat. Every young boy here loves playing soccer, even the girls. What do you want to become when you grow up? A soccer player. Where do they want to play? In Madrid. The Paris team in Argentina. Locals are earning their living by tourism. Qualified as a national park, the island charges $2.5 from the tourists for the entrance. With the oh, wow. arrival of these hundreds of tourists every day, a much bigger chaos Making appears on the Making it more crowded. For us, tourists are a blessing from God. They are a source of employment, directly or indirectly. I'm a bartender. What is the average salary or profit for a person here? It depends very much on the season. There is a guy who goes diving. If he's lucky, he can make $30 per day. If there are a few tourists, he can only earn $15.
A bartender, depending on the tourism season, after expenses and paying workers, can make $50 per day. This is if they can attract foreigners. Here there is an aquarium built for tourists where locals keep fishes, sea turtles, and even sharks in a very limited space. Famous for hey, allowing sharks. tourists to swim with these animals. They just put them all in there. Fuck it. Yeah, just... Is that a banana peel? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, just throw it all in this little square pool. Oh, my God, bro. People what will pay to see it. This place significantly contributes to the local economy. Fishing is very important as well, but the people don't really value what the environment provides for themselves. The islanders now have to import fish because of marine pollution and overfishing. Yeah. Yeah. When you go out fishing, you no longer catch the same amount of fish. That is to say right now, the, the fish in the restaurants is brought here from the mainland. Those who feed roosters are also keen on cockfight. Oh. I was about to say, man, you can't expose yourself like that. Well, now we know why. Yeah. These niggas is out here <laughs> fighting for their lives, man. That's cold, bro. Yeah. Every bro. Saturday, some islanders bet their money on these events and have fun. This is the only hostel of Santa Cruz del Islote. Let's go inside. A peaceful atmosphere is created for the tourists here. It looks like a silent shelter in chaos. Despite this crowd, there is not even a single police that provides security, nor a state of law on the island. Since everybody knows you. each other here, they don't need for it. Look, we have 800 people here and we have no police. So you don't see robberies, muggings, or stabbings. We wow. live peacefully here. Our police here are older adults. We respect them so much here. If there is an argument, That's, a misunderstanding, no. or a fight, the older... That's... Bruh. That's old school way of doing things. Like, yeah, we that's just how respect the be. elders. Yeah. That's crazy. No fighting, no none of that. You know what I'm Carry saying? On. Damn. I I now maybe that's also part of why they're able to just have a, a longer lifespan because yeah. people not on that bullshit. You take out killing and just senseless crimes and heinous acts uh -huh. like that. That jumps yeah. up the, the 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 minimum uh life expectancy just like that. Yeah. No, that's 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 dope. I like to hear that. Could learn some adults set in and grab yeah. us, find out who is right, and then give us advice. Then we shake hands and keep on being the same brothers and sisters with no hard feelings. Does he have plans that. to migrate to somewhere else? I'll spend my entire life on this island. I was born and raised right here. I'm going to die right here. In the evening, residents are more active and everywhere is more crowded since the weather cools off. When the sun hey, is down, man. the he island gets completely his... dark because there isn't electricity at night. People use candles or flashlights of their mobile phones, which are charged during certain hours to brighten the night. Everyone goes outside of their doorsteps because their houses are very tiny and dark. Besides, there is nothing to do inside of the houses. The darkness never prevents the island's vibrant spirit. There's also a little pub where everyone gathers. Most of the locals drink a lot during the night. We hear hey, Latin music got? all the time. <laughs> People are singing and dancing together. Some of them play domino, a very popular game here. And the birthday party is still going on. Some of the garbage Damn, from this event is already- Damn, kids, they supposed to be in the bed by now. <laughs> they in there having a good time. They say, it's bro, dark. we gonna put up this Despicable Me stuff and y'all gonna turn up. <laughs> yeah. Piled up here. Most of these people, living in isolation from the rest of the world, have never left these boundaries in their entire lives. They have no desire to leave their small world or to strive to yeah. improve their living standards with each passing day. The island community has a deep bond to their homeland and they focus on shared happiness and positive values. The biggest problems of Santa Cruz del Istote are the lack of clean water and insufficient cleaning garbage. Island yeah. is not in a position to accommodate more people. Despite all the negative people are connected to each other like a big family so and are chicken. happy. Thank you for watching this documentary. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Nah, this was very informative, man. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure, bro. Like, didn't even know that island existed. And Facts. They was crowded like that on such a small island with little yeah. to no space at all. Nah, that was, that was truly pretty dope just to see how everyone, they know each other. They, they treat each other like a family and there's no need for police they police they police themselves yeah and and no one you know if there's some disagreement they talk to the elders the people that's been around they you know handle it squash it and you know move on bro yeah and right. that's awesome i love to see that you know I, you know wishing that can be like that in the more populated cities but you know 
you know how people are bro and yeah. it, it sucks that it's like that man we can learn a lot from them oh for no, sure we can bro. definitely learn a lot from them because they seem to have it figured out they don't need much there they're enjoying their lives bro so i i can only uh only uh admire that honestly yeah no nah, big facts bro it just lets you know it puts in perspective what's really important for sure um just community uh relationship yeah i saw what you said i'm not gonna repeat that that's not the secret to them living long lives y'all <laughs> i'm sorry bro that's that's not going to it's not going to fucking i'm not repeating that so yeah we saw what see, you said in the in the chat we're not do rag perk what did do rag say I they messed up my um but yeah man um it's just one of them things where we really wow, can appreciate Durag. wow <laughs> we really can wow, appreciate do right yeah that's cold okay do right we really can appreciate the important things man but hey hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and again that's we can cool, take away Durag. a lot okay we can take away a lot from this um mm -hmm. hey, i got something for you after this video do don't do the fan like that. Oh, bro. yep, nope, nope. Let's finish the video. Let's get this done. Finish this. Finish this. It's time. You want it? It's time. Hey, don't forget, finish bro. Finish the video, he, man. He, he finish the video, bro. But I was nah, in man. positive mood. Finish it now. I'm here. This is why we don't guys. last long. This is why we don't live long. Because people <laughs> like you do. Oh, we not. Hey, look, look. We love y'all. Nah, this is why we don't spread live love. Long. Nah. Be love. Come on, nah. spread that love. Be love. Nah, Come, on. Bro. Come on, man. Nah, spread this is love. Why we don't live long. We'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace uh -huh. out. Man. You won't catch Durag in the next one. What's up, Durag? This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.